Once upon a time, a group of people came to talk other people's land and put them in their concentration camps and kept killing them for 70 years. For over 70 years, our people have, have been persecuted, humiliated, dishonored, and even forbidden them to use the name of Palestine. What was the sin of the Palestinians? They were in the wrong place at the wrong time for which the Arabs had to pick up the bills. Since seven decades, nothing has been changed. For the past 12 days, our people in Jerusalem are suffering from Zionist illegal activities which include migrating and killing the Palestinians. And during the last five days of Ramadan, Israeli citizens and forces attacked Muslims while praying at Masjid al-Aqsa to interrupt and omit them for worshipping in the holy month. They made several attacks targeted Palestinians between Jewish and between Taroi in which continued later on during the time while people are fasting. Obviously, we would not forget about Sheikh Jarrah, where is the Israeli settlers are stealing and still trying to see the houses of indigenous Palestinians with the help of their holy armed forces. The current situation describes how Muslims are not united yet and expose Israeli crimes against the Palestinians. And we in Gaza, people for their resistance, the people who are suffering from city since more than 15 years, the people who are patiently waiting the electricity for our city, and the Israeli forces threaten them to damage their only source for electricity, which will be difficult for them to deliver live news to us during the mission. We should act for them. We should stand in solidarity for their losers. For how long they will keep resisting alone? For how long incontinent people will keep losing their houses in the name of self-defense? For how long peace seekers will remain silent when it comes to Palestine? For how long we will keep talking without doing any actions? against the Zionists. Yesterday, after 12 days of fighting, after 248 shaheed, including 66 children, including 66 children, and 100 women, and more than 1,900 injuries. There was a uh, there, there was a ceasefire, ceasefire from one side, and we don't know if they will attack us again. Gaza now need the years to rebuild the damage. Brothers, we won the battle, but not the war. We won just one battle, but but not the war. We will keep fighting. We will keep fighting as long as we are breathing. The land will, go, will give us the stones. The children will grow up. The people of Pakistan, the people of Pakistan will come to pray at Al-Masjid.
Masjid Al Aqsa. It's a promise from us. You people will come to pray in Al Masjid Al Aqsa, inshallah. We believe that every tribute, uh, tribute, every hardship we will ever face on our way, no matter at which age, no matter how long it will be, it will be the direction of the sunrise. It will be the direction of the freedom. We will keep fighting until we got our freedom. And the land of Palestine will be returned to its owners. The land of Palestine will return to its owners. From the river to the sea. Palestine will be true. From the river to the sea. At the end, I would like to thank you. I would like to, I would like to thank the people of Pakistan for their standing with us and make sure that the heart brothers, sisters, sure that the heart is too hard. Palestine and Pakistan. And I I have another homeland actually. I have another homeland called Pakistan. Thank you. Thank you, brother, to give me a chance to explain what is going on there and to express my feelings. Thank you so much. From the river to the sea! Thank you so much. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Palestine to Nabat, Palestine to Nabat, Palestine to Nabat, Palestine to Nabat, Murtabat, Murtabat, Murtabat,